What's going on guys, this is Alejandro Perea and for today's video I'm going to show you how I process my color negative film, especially the Kodak Vision 3 d The first thing you need to do is you need to take the film out of the canister. In order to do that, you're going to need a changing bag or you can use your bathroom as a dark room but just make sure that there is no light coming in from any place or any source. Otherwise, it will just ruin and expose your whole entire film. There are multiple C41 developing kits that you can choose from, but the one that I have been using is the liquid type from Cinesteel. I'm not getting paid by them, but this is the one that I have used and I've gotten consistent results. So I will recommend this one based upon my experience. So we're gonna need the C41 developing kit, the funnel, the thermometer, the partisan tank, the reel, and the washing soda. But the washing soda is optional, it's not really needed. We are going to start by warming out the developer and the blicks. The fixer can be a room temperature. Just make sure you follow the recommended temperatures based upon the chemicals that you are using. In my case for Cinesteel, the recommended temperatures for the developer is 102 and for the blicks, 105 Fahrenheit degrees. Meanwhile, I will put enough water in a small container. I don't really measure how much water do I use, I basically I just eyeball it and I will mix it with one tablespoon of washing soda. I will pour this mix into a partisan tank for one minute and in between I will agitate it for a couple of times. After one minute, I will put the water out and most likely will come out black. That is actually the REM gel layer. Wash the tank with clean water until it comes out as clear as possible. Then we're gonna put the developer into the Patterson tank for three minutes and a half. The first 10 seconds, we're gonna stir it. We're gonna close the Patterson tank and then slowly we're gonna agitate it four times then we're gonna heat it to the surface so the bubbles are gonna start coming up and they're not gonna stick into the film we're gonna do this process every 30 seconds and after three minutes and a half we're gonna grab our container and we're gonna start putting the chemical back into it so we can actually use it in future then we're gonna continue with the blakes Basically the same process as the developer, but instead of doing it for three minutes and a half, we are gonna do it for eight minutes. So the first 10 seconds, we're gonna stir it, then we're gonna close it, and we're gonna agitate it four times every 30 seconds. After the eight minutes, we just need to start putting the blicks back into the bottle or wherever you're gonna store your chemicals. And we're gonna proceed to actually washing our film. At this point, the film has been already developed. Once we, we start seeing that the water is 100% clear coming out from the partisan tank, we can open it and we should be able to see the photographs in the negative. So now as you can see there is this, like a black stain that REM gel layer is still on the film so we're gonna need to actually get rid of it. We're gonna, we're gonna use our thumbs and we're gonna try to be as much as carefully as possible. I'm, I'm being honest with you this one was just for you know for demonstration purposes pretty much this video so I didn't really take care of too much of the film but you should actually make sure that you are not gonna scratch the film when you are just like rubbing it and making sure there is nothing left in the film then just put it back in the reel and then in the Patterson tank at this point we are pretty much done the only thing that we left to do is to put the fixer for one minute and we're gonna steer it for the first 10 seconds Once the minute has passed, we're going to put it back in our container and we will do one last wash with room temperature water just to make sure that there is no any other chemicals left in the film and then we will hang it to let it dry for approximately 1.5 hours. 
So as you guys can see, developing Kodak Vision 3 is the same as any other Kodak film stock, with the only difference that we need to get rid of the rem gel layer right after the bleak step, and that's all. And that's how I develop my color negative film. And if you guys found this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.